Friar Lawrence, welcome to the studio. Oh, thank you, Ralph. It's a pleasure to be here. And please, call me Larry. Okay, Larry. Uh, first, if I could ask you about your job. Mm -hmm. You're a friar. That's right. So that's like what? Uh, a priest or a monk? A monk. Oh, heavens no. Uh, no, they stay in the monastery all the time. We're like monks in that we're devoted to the church and serving God, but we're much more out in the world. We, we try to serve society as much as we can, you know, help people, and make a difference, you know? I see. And you're also something of an herbalist. Mm. In fact, when we first meet you, you've been out collecting plants. Yes, I have an interest in medicinal plants. And that's one of the ways that I serve society, helping people with medicinal herbs. You know, nature's way of curing people, not all this big pharma stuff, you see. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. And you say that plants can be both good and bad. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Uh, some plants are positively deadly. Baleful weeds, you call them. <laughs> yeah. And other plants are packed full of goodness. Uh, precious juice, you say. Yeah. And in a way, nature herself has this kind of mix. On the one hand, the earth is a tomb for everything that dies. But on the other, it, all those dead things become a womb for everything that is born into nature. Kind of like compost. It's Benedicite, like compost, exactly. A compost pile is both a tomb and a womb. In fact, I'm sorry, this is kind of my thing. Can I? Oh, no, please, please continue. Yes. In fact, certain individual plants themselves have this dual nature. But no plant is so bad that it can't be used for good in the right circumstances or the right amounts. And no plant is so good that it can't be abused or dangerous if you use too much. In fact, I have here... Oh, you've, you brought your basket. Mm -hmm. That's right. And I just want you... This is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. Just smell that. See? It makes you feel wonderful. Yes, I see what you mean, yes. <laughs> but if you eat it, it can give you a heart attack, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> and you and I, we're very much the same. Human beings are a mix of grace and animal instinct. Too much animal instinct and we can rot ourselves from within. That's really very interesting. Larry, suddenly Romeo shows up at your door. Yes, and so early in the morning. He must be worried about something if he's up that early. Kids these days don't get it. Unless he didn't go to bed at all. Well, in fact, he tells you that he didn't go to bed last mm -hmm. night. But as he puts it, <laughs> uh, the sweeter rest was mine. Which makes you think he's been with Rosaline. Well, who else? <laughs> and... Uh, I'm kind of afraid of what being with Rosaline might mean. But then, you know what he goes on to tell me after some beating around the bush? Uh, well, yes, in fact, I think I do know. He uh, tells me that he's forgotten all about Rosaline. Just like that. Rosaline who? Well, only the girl he's been obsessed with for weeks. And now he's madly in love with Capulet's daughter. What's her name? Julie? Julia? Uh, Juliet. <laughs> Juliet. And Juliet is madly in love with him, and I'm supposed to marry them this very day. Holy St. Francis. It all does seem to have happened pretty fast. <laughs> pretty fast. You can put that in your prayer at Vespers. Young men's love then lies not truly in their hearts, but in their eyes. After he's been crying his eyes out for Rosalind for days, the tears haven't dried yet. But didn't you want him to give up his love for Rosalind? Uh, oh, please, not love. It's a crush. And I didn't want him to give it up just so that another girl could pop up in her place. Mm, see. But the big difference with Juliet is that she loves him back. True. And that's why and I think you're going to ask me about this, Ralph. We may have an opportunity here. If the son of Montague and the daughter of Capulet marry, it could put an end to this bitter hatred that has divided these families for years and turn it into love. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Yes, you're right. But if you don't mind my saying, it's a little bit of a long shot, isn't it? I mean, it's pretty risky. A risk, everything's a risk. You have to take a chance if you want to make a difference. Remember, God works in mysterious ways, Ralph. Yes, I guess he does, Larry. I guess he does. <laughs>